Hey, welcome back everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Muse Jester. My name is Junior. Uh, let's go ahead and review the Star Wars The Black Series Captain Enoch and the Night Trooper. I haven't reviewed a lot of Star Wars figures. I just usually just, um, and also Marvel Legends, it's usually the ones that really capture my eye. And I've seen this before. I wasn't planning on getting this. Of course, uh, I'm, I was amazed at the design of Captain Enoch and the night troopers over um the admiral thrones um uh star destroyer in ahsoka and but i still wasn't going to get this because it was it's something i i just want with star wars i just want to do the original series with some characters that catch my eye and and i was browsing through yesterday on ug well, a couple of days ago and somebody went ahead and reviewed captain enoch and i said man that is really a good looking figure so i went ahead and pre-ordered it <laughs> Um, box is very simple. There it is. Uh, a brief description of who Captain Enoch is. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's going on. Alright, so they're out of packaging. Captain Enoch and the other Stormtrooper is basically standing at around exactly 6 inches. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's do the Stormtrooper first because it seems like it's just a regular Stormtrooper. Um, there are actually... There's a bunch of re, um, a bunch of new uh, items here. Like for example, the leg over here has an actual sculpted wrapping, and the cracks actually feel like actual cracks. So this is new. the only. I'm gonna say this: the only thing that they reused would be the the waist, the two thighs, this uh, leg, this joint over here. And that's basically it because everything else is pretty much brand new, not like any other stormtrooper. That's kind of interesting. Anyway, um, there's the head, and these cracks are actually um, sculpted in there, so that's kind of cool. This particular head looks kind of wide for me for a stormtrooper. I really do love the gold accents on this face, and then it has this really uh, little bit of. Uh, tampo under or paint like I said these are actually sculpted um, uh, I guess bandages and everything um, and spoilers spoilers if you haven't seen Ahsoka these are supposed to be dead stormtroopers I suppose and apparently what links them to the red sisters are these red bandages maybe they empower the bandages and then they wrapped it around here which basically um, gives them life I don't know or the Red Witches. I don't even know what their name is. So, um, 6 inches. You know, I'm into 6 inches. That's the scale that I'm going for. Um, I do have a few Stormtroopers on my uh, collection. Obviously, I have to have them because they are from the original series. So, that's what I want. That's basically the max of the elbow. Twist over here. And the arms... The hand articulation are up and down. You do have the joint here on the uh, lower ribs, which is, gives you a good range. No twist on the thighs, I mean the waist. Um, the head, I forgot to talk about it, goes up pretty high. And then pretty good range for down as well. And then left to uh, side to side. So... I mean, some people are, I, this joint over here is very vital because some people are thinking because they are dead um, people that you can, it would be good to pose them in awkward positions as dead people tend to be. So, so that's good that they have that range on the uh, lower torso. And for the legs, this is rubbery, so that's good. And kick up pretty high it does go sideways at some point go off, uh, the side is kind of limited because of the skirt over here there is a twist at this joint over here um, the legs aren't really double jointed but it's a good enough range a little bit over 90 maybe like 91 92 um, for the ankle this is stiff for me probably needs to be um, heated up but goes up one ratchet goes down one ratchet does have an ankle swivel 
these figures are very very sparse in accessories this was fifty dollars so you have the gun here just nothing but bare gray plastic <laughs> but it does the job right so what this two pack I bought this two pack for is basically Captain Enoch. I bought him at I bought them at full price, obviously. So uh, let me close in really quickly on the head so we can look at that really close. So there's the head of Captain Enoch. Really, really cool. It does remind me of some sort of a Roman uh, armor or or something like that. But at least the face definitely does remind me of some sort of a Roman. Um, attributes in there as you now that we've uh, zeroed in you can really see the detail that's going on in this face this is really just an amazing work here's the side I really do love the gold accents that they've put on this character um, for a character that I was not planning at all to get it's the, the striking image of it just basically stuck to my mind um, that it, it was just ba basically nagging at the back of my mind that I needed to have. So articulation wise it's the same way up and down. It's basically the same body as that one as you can as you saw. This is connected to the top part of the shoulder joint. Some nice um, images here which is different from a regular one I believe. Or is it basically it is the same really weird that they sculpted that in there so that's actually cool it's basically the same it just looks a little bit different because he does have the waist um, garment over here and while we have him let's go ahead and look at the gun the gun thankfully is accented with gold paint on the grips and on the barrel and definitely a nice looking gun So let's go back out uh, as I mess around with the articulation. Obviously, obviously for this one, the articulation on the on the legs will be hampered by the skirt, which is kind of a shame. Maybe I can cut out parts of the skirt so I can move it around, like maybe here and here. I don't know. I don't know if if articulation is that important for me to break the to break this this piece or not, but. Basically the same articulation as the Stormtrooper. He does have this uh, holster over here. Uh, I want to look really quickly at this holster. It does. It really looks like almost like real leather with very very subtle texture, but it's there. And the same thing with the belt. There are actually subtle textures on the belt straps. Well, I brought in a one of my stormtroopers, and this is one of the newer stormtroopers. I, I, you know, if you remember, they did um, a change in the uh, stormtrooper design, so it does look like it's no. It, is it the same head? Man, that paint job really messes me up. It just looks like there's something wrong with the head on this one, like it's warped or something. It could be warped because it it is rubbery. This is a more solid plastic. This headpiece is rubbery. And underneath it, it's almost like there's a head sculpt in there. Which I'm going to pull out because there is a head sculpt in there. Look at that! <laughs> now, I'm, I'm assuming you're not supposed to do that. And this is probably the reason why uh, it was warped. Um... Oh, this guy has it, a neck and a head inside it too, but the head on the is so stiff. There's no way of removing it. So that is kind of cool. But there's a clone underneath there. Now, what does that mean? Are these troopers actually clones? I don't know. Or was that just standing around and they put it in there? Are the night troopers actually clone troopers? I don't know. <laughs> I'm 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 assuming it just it was just a head that was lying around that they put in there and they thought that was kind of cool to have. But yeah, so that's basically it for my wait a minute. Oh yeah, it's the same way. Yeah. 
So that's it for my review of Captain Enoch and the Night Trooper. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next review. Bye.